Y'all gonna hit that like one time for the one time for your girl. I found that chicken nugget I've been looking for. So I'm finna go and drop this nugget on y'all. And I need y'all to go and hit this like button because this right here, man, y'all don't even understand what I went through for this video. So y'all watch to the end, hit that like, meet me in the comments. Toxic, can't get enough. Ooh, go and say it like a mantra. You know what you want, do ya? Oh, hell no, I won't play the monster no matter what you tell yourself. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna need y'all to bear with me to the end of this video. I might talk kind of fast because I'm trying to, you know, say what I got to say and keep it moving. We got a lot of grounds to cover and I'm going to try not to run in any unnecessary rabbit holes like I usually do, okay? I just want to bop, bop, bop. So I found what I was looking for in Irene Live when the girl was like, if y'all want to know the truth, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Check the people in the hallway. Now, my thing is, since 2017, I've been on. This has been... Two crimes, one body. I've always said, I feel like them party goers did something to Kanika and may have left her for dead and she wasn't dead. And then the hotel got her. I've also said that the handoff, which is when Monifa picked up Kanika and took her out that room, who did she give Kanika to? I've always said it was Bree Bree and the guys. But... Then when I come across this statement, now the statement does not say anything about a female. The statement says it was two black males. Now here we have to be, you know, careful because we do have, um, for instance, Mano, the boy that bought the room with T. In the statement, it said two women came up and and that the person at the front desk said that they believe one to be transgender. So what I'm saying is it is real men out here looking like real life women. And it is real life women out here looking like real life men. So just keeping that in the back of your mind. But moving on. Now the statement said, and let me tell you now, this is not verbatim because Rosemont wasn't even verbatim. I'm not looking at it and I'm paraphrasing. So the statement basically said that when the employee went up there to, you know, basically go up there about the call that he got about the noise complaint. When he went up there, it was two black men standing two black males standing outside the door they asked what was wrong he was like nothing just got a noise complaint you know whoop -de -whoop, keep it down one of the dudes was like you know they let him know well he was like who room is it one of the dudes was like it was his room and then he let him know to keep it down say so they knocked on the door the girl answered told the girl to keep it down she said she'll tell them to keep it down all right Okay, now at this time, we got the employee saying that it was two males outside the room door. Now, how long they was out there, I don't know, but I feel like they was out there long enough um, until, and wait until Monifa brought Kanika out the room and... In the next video or two, I'm going to tell you why. So, we also know that for some reason, Shamaya and Monifa came back in the room, right? Now, they gave us that sack of potatoes like they came back in the room for Kanika Fawn and her cockies. But the thing about it is, Shamaya told us in 2017 that they had to call Bri for the keys. We got the footage of Bri walking through the hotel with these keys. She go out to the parking lot minutes after she got there. We are assuming... We know what happens when you assume, but we are assuming that she went to the car that they rode in, i.e. Teresa's car that Kanika was driving. So, if that's the case, then she would have the car 
keys. All right. Now, thing would be, who was outside that door when Monifa took Kanika to the door? Because whoever was outside that door made sure that Monifa and Shamaya came they tell back in their room. You hear me? That one in there talking about no phone and no doggone car keys. Irene said that Shamaya came over there and got the phone, true enough, granted. But that wasn't what they was in there doing the whole time. And if they knew Irene had the phone, then it shouldn't have took no 10, 15 minutes to go in there and get the phone. Because Shamaya clearly said that they had to call Bree Bree to get the key. So they already knew that they didn't have the key. So where the hell was they going? Where where they was going? And then if Kanika was asleep and, and everybody claimed, well, nobody messing with her. Then why would Monifa pick her up? And take her out that room if Bree Bree had the keys and Bree Bree was supposed to be gone. So this is why at first I was saying they gave Kanika to Bree Bree and the guys because I feel like, you know, either Bree Bree called and said, all right, I'm back. Because remember, Kanika texted and was like, she ready to go. And Shamari was like, yeah, I told you, look like it's dig little. That was like 30 minutes later. So could that be when Bri came back or something? And was like, come on, we go. I don't know. Or could it have been when one of them guys hit up Monifa and said, all right, bring her on. Then Shamaya gets up and follows behind. And by that time, Monifa trying to push her back in the room like, no, no, no. We got to go get Kanika stuff. Go over there and tell Irene to get you Kanika phone. Okay, because at the end of the day, both of them came back in their room. My personal opinion is because of them guys in that hallway. Mind you... These people are not no church going little Christian choir boys. You didn't see they rap sheet. These guys got guns and shit. You hear me? They got guns and shit. So who was to say that one of them dudes didn't draw down on them girls and told them to get on back in there because Shamaya came to the door when they was supposed to be in Monifa League? I'm just asking questions, okay? I'm asking questions. All right. Now, let's get to this clip in Irene Live. And I'm going to meet y'all back in the comments and in the next video. And we're going to pick up right around here. Because after y'all hear this, then we can go further. Now, I don't know what building the girl is talking about. So, we can talk about that in the comments when she say, talk to the guys that was in the hall and in that building. Y'all listen good. Listen to the background. Don't listen to Irene because when they start talking about this, Irene starts back entertaining the chat and cuts them off. Okay? So, check this out. Now, I'm going to say this and then we're going to get to the clip so we can go so this don't be too long. Let me say this. This further should prove that these four girls know who took Kanika and where they took Kanika to because she's gonna say check the guys in the hallway and that building which is giving another location to where they took Kanika so if the girl in the background of Irene Live is saying this and she was in the room that means the other three know because it was Irene, Irene's sister, Ernisha, and Shiloh. So, if one of them is saying this, all three of them know this, all right? I know y'all been ready, and here we go. Check the clip out. Meet me in the comments. Hit that bell for the next videos. This your girl, Money Stacks, signing out. Smooches. Peace. Yeah, we don't know. Nobody know the truth. I'm going to just put it like this. The motherfuckers who know the truth is the motherfuckers that was in that hallway and the motherfuckers in that building. If you in behind the closed door and you was in that room, you don't know what happened. So all that trying to point the things after my book that was. I ain't gonna here explaining myself. I'm blue because this is why I got up on live. Because I was on Monique for status. Monique for status and said, Alright, they're not gonna know the truth. I'ma just put it like this. The motherfuckers who know the truth is the motherfuckers that was in that hallway and the motherfuckers in that building. I ain't trying to shit. If you in behind the closed door and you was in that room, you don't know what happened. So all that trying to point the things after my book that was.
this. The motherfuckers who love the truth is the motherfuckers that was in that hallway and the motherfuckers in that building. I ain't trying to shit. shit. If you ain't behind no closed door and you was in that room, you don't know what happened. So all that trying to point the fingers at some of them. I ain't going to hear explain myself. I'm blue because this is why I got up on live. Because I was on Monifa status. Monifa made a status and said, ah, oh, they